What's going on guys, Peck Daddy here, bringing you a brand new HUD series. Don't worry, the ultimate wheel is not going anywhere. This is just something totally fresh that we're bringing in for this year. We're gonna have two HUD series going at the exact same time. Hopefully running in about the same divisions, but completely different styles and how they actually get there. Now this board behind us, this Plinko board, is gonna work like this. Every single goal we score in HUD grants us one of these rubbery foam pucks. And after every game, the amount of pucks that we've gathered can go to this board and be awarded for points. You see down here at the bottom, numbers listed one through five and then back down to one. Just like classic Plinko style, the middle position, right below the crease is where the best prize is gonna be. That's gonna be one special pack. You can see from down here in the corner, this is what the prizes are gonna be. Starting on the outside, those two are gonna be a silver plus or bronze plus pack. Now that this is the year of collectibles, and you can only find them in their respective packs, these silver pluses and bronze pluses are a lot more important, so we wanna make sure that we can get these silver and bronze plus packs, so in case we do get enough players for a hut hero, we can go ahead and buy those collectibles or even get them in the packs. Following up the next ones, these two spots right here, that is gonna be a gold pack, not plus, just a regular gold pack. Right inside those two is gonna be the gold plus pack. So that's just your standard gold plus pack. It's a pretty decent pack this year. We get three rare players and the uh, chance of getting all those other sweet collectibles, which is very nice. Then right inside that, these two spaces right outside, probably where the hexagons are going to be behind the goalie net, is gonna be the Gary Bettman space. There is absolutely nothing, zero, zilch. We get a flat goose egg from coming in that spot. We don't want that, and of course, right through the middle is going to be the special pack, one special pack. Now, you say, what if we just blow the guy out 10 to nothing in the first game? Then we get 10 drops, right? Not so fast. Because we've learned in other series that we can get a team way too good too early, we're limiting ourselves. From divisions 10 to eight, we can only drop three pucks maximum. Even if we score seven goals, three pucks maximum. And then from division seven through five, we're gonna go ahead and limit ourselves to five pucks. Once we get to division four and up, it's freaking wild, wild west out here. If we blow somebody out 180 to four, then we get 180 goals. Now, if we lose the game, same thing applies. We might not have the best team once we get up to the high divisions, and we don't think that should handicap us at all. So even if we get blown out eight to one, that is one puck drop that we have to improve our team. Now, before in other ultimate series that we've done before, we've relied on whatever we were granted. Now, we're probably gonna get a lot of players. We're not gonna keep them all. We're gonna get jerseys that aren't gonna go to Hut Heroes. And what I really wanna do in this series is for you guys to control how the team looks. Before, when I do the ultimate wheel, I can't pick anybody up on the auction house unless the wheel lands on buy any player. That's the only reason we can buy those players. Whatever we get in these packs, we can go ahead and sell in the auction house. And at the end of each episode, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys, what players do you think we should be picking up? Should we take this money? Should we go ahead and try and complete sets? You can tell me to buy players off the auction house to complete sets. It doesn't have to be one player at a time. Say, buy all the uncommons you want for Calgary. We're gonna try and complete that Calgary Hut Hero Collectible. It's completely up to you guys in the comment section within reason. Don't say go to the auction house and find an uncommon card worth a quarter million and get yourself banned. That's not what I want you guys to tell me. And frankly, I'm not gonna listen if that's what you guys do in the comment section. You guys are little devils and sometimes I can't trust you. So that's the premise of this series right here. We're gonna be playing two games. We're gonna play the game and then get the pucks after it just to kind of give you guys what it looks like. We're gonna take this puck, drop it here in the opening. It's gonna fall down the entire board and land to what would have been a bronze or special pack. And I'm going to leave that up to me whether or not I choose a bronze or a silver. Right now I guess I'm choosing silvers because those silver collectibles are freaking expensive. They're at least 10k plus on the auction house last time I looked. So they are very, very pricey. But I'm really excited to bring this series to you guys. I had this idea in about April of last year and there's no sense in starting a series late in the year. You gotta be stupid to have a brilliant idea and waste it on the last couple months of NHL 17. So it's been sitting in my mind. It's been just grinding away at me and I'm really excited that we can bring it to NHL 18 right now. Hopefully this is great. I am gonna be playing on Xbox. That's another amazing thing because before everything else I've played has been on the PlayStation. So now for the other half of you guys who are on Xbox, we finally get to be together, play a hut series, and hopefully you can take me down in this series. So without further ado, let's get to the first game of the series. But first, we gotta check out the team that the hut universe has granted us. 
So this would have been the team that you would have seen in the puck drop initial episode. A lot of good defensemen, a lot of great players. However, the game had other things in mind. After scoring the first goal, we got disconnected from the game, unfortunately. Not just once, but it happened twice on the following game. So I said screw this game and decided to play Destiny 2 for a solid three hours to vent all of my frustration. Time to make the team name and what are we going to go with? Yeah, let's just do a whole bunch of emojis. That'll, that'll end up great. Perfect. Get a little derp action in there for you from the team abbreviation. All right, here we go. This is the starter pack that we're going to get going through this entire season. These are going to be the initial players for our team. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they actually turn out decent if the pack would open. Here we go. All right, welcome to the, uh, where's my team? I guess we're going to skip the animation. It's lagging out on me hardcore. All right, here we go. Ryan Cranford. Here we go. Let's get some gold rare players. Who's our gold rare player going to be in this one? Haven't seen him yet. There's usually a couple. Dylan Strom, that's an interesting one. That's a rare bronze player right there. I guess we'll put him on the team. Who, come on, where are my gold rare players? Where are they going to be? Hopefully it's somebody on Tampa. Vasilevsky and that. Alex Kalorn is a decent, uncommon gold player. That'd be nice. Come on, give me these gold rares. What if I get Jip? Chris Kunitz, Lightning Legend. It's on the team. Paul Statsny got a good face-off guy. And only one rare gold player. That's kind of... Interesting. Normally I see two gold rare players on these teams. We did get a lot of uncommon gold players and Dylan Strom. So, okay, M Michael Matheson, I also got him. So we got a good bit of uncommon gold players. So I guess that's a pretty good trade-off. So let's go ahead and build this team, play the first game. All right, so here we go. We're starting fresh, Division 10, the first game. Let's get to a team reveal real quick. This is the team that we got going on. We got Chris Kunitz, Paul Statsny, Dylan Strom, line one. We're stacking the first line. Hopefully good things can come from that first line. Then we got Alex Kalorn and a whole bunch of these bronze and silvers. I'm not even gonna try and say their names because there's a bunch of players from Europe and I'm just gonna butcher it straight up. So we get back here on the defense and it's still looking weak. This is probably gonna be the first place that if we have the option, have the coins after this game to actually help out the defensive side of things because it's looking bad. If we don't even do that, we might do a goalie because goalies are very important early on. We got a couple synergies going on. We got protect the puck, which is decent. Uh, I took a couple people off of some synergy so I could get some of these better overall guys in there, but we kept on fine shooting, breakout master, clutch player. So it's nice they start us out with all these synergies. So hopefully we can bring a W out for this first game and get those three pucks and maximize the bonus we can get from the board. Okay, so we got D Cosmic, the first victim of the puck drop, hopefully. Yellow connection, back to green, we're solid. So I'm hoping that he actually skips looking at the goalies because I don't want him to know who I have because then I'll just start ripping them from the red line and probably putting them in the net. So hopefully he also agrees to get to the center face off going up against Cosmic, nice and simple. All right, here we go. Oh, he has Malkin, is that Stamkos? And freaking Crosby, holy crap, here we go. Just stay in front of him, come on. Just don't let him shoot the <laughs> What am I supposed to do? These guys are absolute snipers. He has a whole team full of superstars. I'm talking superstars. I'll show you the roster when we get to the period break. Come on, get it. Don't hit each other, come on guys. I doubt Huntley's gonna catch him. Then, <laughs> did you see my goalie just trip in the crease? Oh, he's a buffoon out there. He's just falling all, all over the ice. The stats that these guys have. I mean, Jamie Ben from Kopitar and Hedman. All right, so at the end of the first period, three to five shots. I'd expect it to be a lot worse on his part, but let's sh check out the box score real quick. Go all the way over here to his stats and look at it. Holy shit! Ben Bergeron, Burns Crosby, Getzlaf Gonchar, Hedman Kane, Carlson, Keith, Kopitar, Latang. Holy shit! Malkin, Shifley, Sagan, Stamkos, Tavares, Wheeler. And in goal, let's check out goal. Carey Price and Cam Talbot, obviously. I'll break it down. Oh, game saving, goal saving. Kocek, really, Crosby sends it over. Oh, we actually intercepted it. Come on, skate. You got burns on your tail. You got this, buddy. Oh, farce. What an idiot. You cannot miss those. These goals mean too much. All right, up to Crosby. Just block him off. Switch. Switch D, come on in. Oh my gosh. We missed an empty net goal and Crosby walks it down the ice and rips it top corner over Flirtler. All right, Huntley stop him in place. Nice save there, Ben with the rebound. <laughs> I can't do anything here. This is just ridiculous. Kane's taking it in, just step in front of him. He's 
gonna walk around this and put it far side. I don't know what to do. That's gotta take the loss on this one. Come on, beast him in there. Come on, we got the puck off his stick. How does he come back up with it? Up to Keith, pass it back down to Crosby. Get in front, somebody chase him and he rips it. Freaking A, right into the top corner. Oh, he fakes him out. Come on, get around him. One more goal is all I'm asking. What a loser. Was his goalie stick like 10 feet long? Are you serious? That is so stupid. We couldn't even get a goal this whole game. Two blown chances, and that's going to be the end of the first game. So we feature a 6 to nothing loss by the NHL All-Stars. The first person we play in Division 10, of course, has an absolutely stacked to the T's team. Unbelievable team that this guy had. And what's worse is we can't even get any rewards from this. We get a token for every goal we score and we blew two empty nets. This team just doesn't want it. So 0-1 in Division 10, we started off the first game on a loss. I think we started off Ultimate Wheel on a loss as well. 9 to 19 shots, four minutes of time on attack to seven. Crosby, Ben, Stamkos are the stars. I'm embarrassed that this guy did at least hang a dozen on me. All right, so we're here in the auction house. I'm trying to see if I can't pick up this Cam Talbot for 500 coins. If I can, that would be a nice steal since he's a pretty decent goalie. I'm really just trying to make choice purposes, trying to get a lot of good players real quick. If I can pick him up, maybe a few uncommons, and then try and hop into this next game and get something going. So we actually got him, so that was nice. So Cam Talbot is a sturdy goaltender in net. He, he's played pretty decent when I've come into contact with him this year in NHL 18. So we got him in net. We're going to try and pick up a couple more forwards. Uncommon, because we're probably not going to be finding any... We don't just want one good gold rare player. We want a couple players NHL level to replace some of the 60s and the 70s on the team and try and get more of a well-rounded team going for the second game. So there's not too many dirt cheap players up that are gold uncommon cards, but this Brian Rust right here is a decent card, so we might be picking him up. Uh, a bunch of goalies are out here, but I'm really just looking for players who have a little bit of speed. I mean, everybody's going to be getting bowled over if we keep playing teams like that. Now, Terry Philpolin, this 82 right here, that's a nice pickup for 200 since he's mostly you know, hitting the mid to low 80s on everything. So I'm definitely gonna be picking him up for the team. We still got about 370 and I have my buy now set to 200 pucks. So fingers crossed we can find another, was that 82? Okay, that was Grubauer. We don't want another goalie. We're set with the only goalie we have and getting him for, you know, not a bad price. It could have been an uncommon goalie, but I just like having a solid 85 in net. So looking at everybody, I don't think we're gonna find anybody better than that Brian Rust. So we're gonna go back, trek him down on the auction house, pick him up for 200 coins. So just like that, you know, we might actually go back and filter for 150 and see if we can't pick up another defenseman or something just while we're at it. But yeah, just like that, with the coins we did from one game, we can pick up a gold rare goaltender and then three players on the team who should be able to help out. I guess, what's this pick from the biggest overall? Let's pick Alexi Yemlin back there on defense. It's always nice to have a guy with 85 checking. Um, been messaging the guy after the game, just told him it was a nice team, and he was like glad I wasn't super pissed off at him. <laughs> what are you gonna do though? He had a nice team, it was early on in the game, he said it was all from doing the collections, all from the challenges. Hey, do your challenges, they give you really nice players, and uh, yeah, all I can say about that. Alright, so after rearranging the team, these are the lines that we got. The first line is pretty much the same, Stats, Nikunitz, Dylan, Strom. The second line is when we're adding some more NHL players. Brian Rust, Valtteri Filppula is also going to be joining Alex Kalorn. And then we got a whole bunch of 70s. I found a whole bunch of 70s that weren't on the team. And since we're already taking off a bunch of low overall players to put on these NHL uncommons, I just said why not get rid of all the bronzes. Just put these silvers on there. We'll worry about synergies later. Defense, we just added one Alexi Emelin to the team and we're gonna go from here. Almost forgot to add the goalie, holy crap. All right, that could have been bad, much better. We got ourselves a freaking game and the connection is butt. Come on. I've been waiting here for 15 minutes looking for a game and the first one I play is up against somebody who's playing from North Korea. What is going on? I don't deserve this on the first episode. Two dropped connection to a games, playing the best team I've ever seen in Hut, including end of year teams. And then we get this guy who's just has the worst connection, like maybe half a megabyte up and down. Let's check out the performance real quick on this network. Oh my, look at the spike, 130. We can't even quit out, it's the face-off. Oh, this is, we're into it now. Come on, Kalorn, just walk it down the ice. Fight the lag, you got this. Bring it in, nice and slow, no pokes. Toss it to the side. 
<laughs> That's what goes in the net. That was pretty much a dump into the zone, but hey, you know what? Kalorn's putting us on the board, and we're ahead, finally. Boom, what a big hit. Come on, Matt, this is... We got a penalty for that? Are you kidding me? What was that, charging? Five minutes for what? Are you serious? Come on, ref. What is this a penalty for? Open ice charging game misconduct. Oh my gosh, they're paying the refs. It's 100% confirmed. I didn't see anything wrong with that hit. What was that? A clean body check? Game misconduct. There we go. Block the shot. Pass it back up to Kunitz. Lightning legend Chris Kunitz. Pump the brakes. Stop it. Throw it on net. Off the post. That was purely head on. It came right back through his five hole. First intermission. I'm going to try and not get 19 minutes of penalty minutes in the next couple periods. And maybe we'll bring this game to a W. Come on. You want to bring the puck with you? Statsin's going to take it in the zone. Walk it around. Throw it in front. One timer. <laughs> One timer in front of the net. Dylan Strom, I guess, getting it done. The only bronze on the team. But there's probably a couple more. Needless to say, he's getting it done. He's scoring the goals. Was in the right place at the right time. Paul Statsin, he found him. On his island out there, he sniped it home. Oh, Emily, get back. Skate. Diving poke check. How did that go in? That was a terrible shot. Talbot should have had that one. He should have had that one hands down. I thought Emlyn was going to catch him on the breakaway, but he throws it on net and it goes in. Get that puck out. Come on. How does it keep staying on his stick? Nice save there. Come on. There, where's the goalie interference? That's getting called. Dude. <laughs> Refs, man. Come on. Four minutes left in the game. You give him that one. This game's tied up now. Come on, Jersina. Rip it. Oh, block shot. Montoya's going to throw it into the corner. we got to get there. Just slow playing back. Two on two. Come on, be smart with it. Nice poke check. There we go, Kunitz. Skate down the ice. You got this one, baby. Nice pump. Walk it in. Clap it. Oh, nice save by Montoya. Come on. 30 seconds left to go. We got this one. He's skating down the ice. Come on, switch to the player behind him. That's all I'm asking for. Boom, big check. I like it. Come on, Dylan Strom. Let's get a second for the night. Get up. Get the puck back. There you go. Keep the momentum going. Throw it over. And he nits it with 17 seconds left to go. That's the go-ahead goal. Holy crap. I accidentally hit the remote or something. My TV just spiked in volume. But let's freaking go, man. 17 seconds left to go in the game. Milan Jersina from Dylan Strom. That's Strom's second point of the night. What an electric play. What I'm doing now, I'm calling a timeout. I don't trust the lines that are healthy, so I'm putting it, calling a timeout, have my best line out there. That's what we're going to do. Statsny with the faceoff. I see wins it. Jersina making plays, passes it back over to Lightning Legend Chris Kunitz. 10 seconds left. Come on, Chris. Paul Statsny. Five seconds left. Jersina up to Kunitz. Can he get one more before the time expires? It goes into the corner. So that is going to do it for your first win of the puck drop we finally got it done last second goals by our silvers saving our bacon here in this game that's that's insane so we finally got a victory in the episode it was nice to not start the first episode out with two losses the first one can't do anything about does that really even count as a loss he had everybody just superstars one and one on the season two points we have to get Four more points, two wins to advance to Division 9. It's probably going to happen. Final shots, 24 to 15. Time on attack, roughly the same. I had very good discipline after that happened. 19 penalty minutes. Strom, Dracina, Kalorn, your champions. But let's get to these rewards. All right, so it has been one stressful of a first episode, but I'm glad we could actually end it on a high note and get these three tokens right here. The third goal came at the most opportune last second and actually netted us the victory. So I'm thankful that we actually won a game but more thankful that we got these three pucks here as a reward. So we're going to go ahead with the first one. You guys can see the prizes there. Down on the table, this is the inaugural puck drop of NHL 18. The puck drop. Here we go. What is it going to be? It is going to be class. Are you freaking kidding me? That gives us nothing. Absolutely zero. That's the Bettman spot. And unfortunately... There goes the first one. What a complete waste. All right, here we go with the second puck. Let's drop it right in the middle this time. Hopefully that means we'll get that special pack in the middle. God, that's not the one we want either. That is a silver plus or a bronze plus pack. So what we're going to be looking for in there 
those silver collectibles. If we can't find anybody else, we're probably just gonna be tossing away everybody else on the auction house, hopefully making a pretty penny there. Here we go, this is from that silver player who scored that one-timer in the last minute of the game. I'm not even gonna look, you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen first. It stopped. Okay, there we go, gold plus pack, that's what we're looking for. Thankfully, we can get three gold bear players out of this pack, plus whatever else is in there. Let's go to the auction house and get these two packs. We got the silver plus pack, which is the choice. It was either bronze plus or silver plus, and then we get a gold plus pack. Let's get to these rewards. So if you guys are asking me why it's a little bit darker when we do the puck drop, it's because you can see right there in the background that the glare on the glass is incredibly bright from the light that I have right here to make sure you guys can see me when we do the face game. So I have to shut this one off, unfortunately. Still got another one in the corner that is working well. So that's why it's just a little bit dimmer when we do it. So unfortunately, we couldn't get a special pack. I would have loved to have picked up the mini collector's pack. 10 items, 10 rare. That would have been absolutely incredible. But you know, we're still gonna get something decent silver plus pack if we could actually pull a silver collectible I'd probably throw it up on the auction house because those things are worth a pretty penny so let's go with the first pack of NHL 18 the puck drop here we go what can we find in here looking for that silver collectible that would be beautiful not gonna be in here so unfortunately Nothing much in here is worth much value to us. We're gonna throw these guys up on the auction house, try and turn a profit. These silver jerseys I know can be kind of a hot ticket, but not anything Christers Kuflevkis. This guy was like the crazy backup for Andre Vasilevsky. He was like Tampa Bay's third. He absolutely stunned the world with his beautiful hair when he took his mask off. So we're pretty much gonna salvage it and we'll see what we get at the start of next episode. This is the one that I'm really banking on. Here we go, gold plus pack. Number one, the first of many we're gonna be opening. We really need some good players, some good uncommons, some good rares. I don't need another goalie, that would be an absolute waste. We get Brian Rust, Corey Perry. Corey Perry's decent, primetime collectible, that's nice to see because that doesn't count. Adam Henrique's a solid centerman. Let me get an 85 at least for somebody else, not a goalie. I just said not a goal. Okay, we can still sell them on the auction house. So at least we got that going for us. We get some jerseys, don't care about these guys. All these other players, at least they're left wingers and not backup goalies and all this stuff. So we can actually throw all these guys on the team. So it does actually help us out. But I'm really looking for more people, but that's gonna have to rely on next episode. So we're probably actually gonna be selling Leonard because Talbot is a decent 85 overall. He played pretty well for us, but Robin Leonard, people love the massive factor of his playing style, so everything else we're probably just gonna toss on the auction house and get a nice coin bank so you guys know what we have going into this next episode. All right, welcome back. It is the next day. You can see we got 8,800 pucks, which is a nice amount. I'm actually pleasantly surprised for how much some of the stuff sold for. This prime time collectible that you'll see here once we get over to sold items actually sold for 3,000 pucks, which is nice. That's a lot of gold rare pickups we can get. All of these silvers I threw up for 150, some of them 200 if they were rare. And as you can see, most of them sold for about 150, 200 pucks a piece. And then some of these, you know, I have a lot of contracts already, so I don't need to keep some of these contracts. So most of these silvers and most of the golds I went ahead and just tossed up there. Robin Leonard put up on the auction house for 600, got him to sell. Goose Lefkis sold because of his synergies. He has those two great synergies for the team. And so I knew I could put him up for a little bit more. So sold him for about 700, sold a couple of these jerseys, the gold contracts. And of course this gets me to about 9,000 pucks. So what I want you guys to do in the comment section for this video is to let me know not who I should buy for 8,000. I'm not looking to get one superstar amidst a team of just washes. So what I want you guys to do, give me your top players that you enjoy. Let's say under 1,500 pucks that I could pick up. So maybe some solid 85s, 84s, 83s if they drop that low. There's a whole lot of great people out there so from your teams. I haven't played with them all. Please let me know in the comment section which of these guys. We have 8,000 pucks. About 9,000 pucks actually to play around with. And we're really looking to make this team a little bit better. And to kind of help you with that, let me show you the team that we're working with right now. We got Dylan Strom. He's a pretty awesome 79, a bronze rare, but he's a bronze rare and he's 79. So these are the guys we're looking to replace. As you can see, we have some 70s still on the team. Defense, 
really needs help, but also, you know, I don't want to dump all the coins in defense. I like to shoot the puck and I like to skate fast. Back then, you know, you got to deal with these problems. You got some 65s back here on right D, so I'd love to know your guys' opinion on some of these players. Goalie, you know, we're fine with goalie. We're going to ride Talbot for a little bit. But overall, this is the team that we're working with. You can see all four lines of offense right here. We go over to the defense and it's not much better. We don't even have a gold rare player back here on defense. I'd probably like to stick with gold rare players. I don't know how low they go. Maybe an 82 overall, 81 possibly might be the lowest a gold rare goes. Just let me know in the comments section. I'll see your comments. I'll pick the ones that I like the best. And then we'll go ahead and listen to those comments and pick them up before we play the next game in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode of the Puck Drop. As you can tell from the games that we played today, it's going to be an absolute battle to get to D1 and win that title. But I have no doubt we'll be able to get there with the help of this guy right here and all the goals we can score and all the suggestions that you guys put in the comment section please give me comments because this series totally depends on you and what you guys tell me to do with my team so with that I thank you guys for watching I hope you did enjoy this new series drop a like on the new series let me know how you like the idea and if you guys could tune back in for episode two it's probably gonna be another nail biter thanks again for watching hope you guys have a great rest of your day this is Pack Daddy I'm out